Hello, I'm Christine, and today we're talking about Colleen Hoover's new book, Confess. 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 Confess to me. I don't think that's a song. As to be expected, I really, really enjoyed Confess. I don't know if you've been here for a while. I really enjoy Colleen Hoover's books. If you haven't read one yet, I really highly recommend them. They're new adult contemporary, so it's like early 20s, and it's real life, and the characters are so relatable, and so easy to jump into. I started Confess not intentional. Like, I wasn't gonna read it right now, because I have other stuff that I should read immediately. I read the first page, and then I was like, I have to read the next page. And then I had read 15 pages, and then I was like, I need to read this book right now. I can't put this down now. What is? That's how her books are. I was just like, fell into Wonderland. You and I got lost in it. Life was never worse, but never better. But really. I absolutely love this book. I love the story. It came so, it came this close to being like, like above slammed, equal with ugly love. I don't even know. It was so close to being my new favorite Colleen Hoover book. And the connection between the characters felt so real. Like in every Colleen Hoover book, you're just so easily drawn into the story. You feel so much for those characters. So Confess follows this girl, Auburn. She just moved from Portland to Dallas. She doesn't know anyone and she needs money. She's walking down the street and there's a desperate help wanted sign in the window of this place called Confess. And this place Confess is an art studio and people write down confessions and slip them into a little slot outside of the art studio and the artist there uses the confessions as inspiration for his pieces so each piece is inspired by someone's real confession and just the idea of that was captivating auburn reads through some of the confessions and it really hits you every time you read one especially when you read one and you also get to see the piece of art and I'm not gonna tell you anything else. It's really wonderful. I just, I really enjoyed it. As as I said before, I give this like a 94%. I flew through it, I couldn't stop reading, and I love the concept so much. That's all I can really say without spoiling you. I don't wanna spoil anything. I went into this completely clueless, and I really enjoyed it. Now I'm gonna talk about the book in a little more detail. So bye people who haven't read it yet. Bye, bye, bye. So confess. Oh, uh, the beginning of this book was just like heaven. It was just like relationship heaven. I'm walking on you. Everything was wonderful. And it was just so much fun to read. That whole night where she worked for him, and then they went to the bar, and then he walked her home, and they just had like the cutest interactions. I love when she closed the door, and then she opened it again, and then they closed it again. I can't remember the exact banter, but it was super cute. It was like super, super cute. I was really moved by all the confessions. And it says in the beginning of the book that all the confessions are real confessions by real people sent in to Colleen. That makes them even more jarring and moving. That one about the mom who hid a toy in her kid's room every day, so he'd wake up every morning to find a new toy and never stop believing in magic. That made me cry. The idea is just so sweet and hopeful, and I don't know, that one made me cry. The thing that brought Confess down for me, the reason why I can't say it's my new favorite Colleen Hoover book is because the stupid end. There was no end. We didn't get to see much resolution with the dad. I know he's going to rehab, but that's a whole nother thing. When he comes out of rehab, the struggle of being out of rehab. And what's gonna happen with Alwyn and Auburn and AJ? How are they gonna live together? I wanna see them blend together as a family. I wanna see a point of retreat confess. Confess of retreat, butterfly, wanna see it. Because yeah, I feel like she usually wraps up her books more. Ugly love, we got that whole epilogue chapter. I want their epilogue chapter. Or their epilogue book. Confess to, confess again. That's a good title. I'm thinking confess again, confess more. It's just, it was common to me, I don't, I don't know. If I'm gonna compare it to any Colleen Hoover book, I'm gonna compare it to Slam. It has that same feeling, I mean, your classic Colleen Hoover car crash car crash incident, but you know, in a new twisted way. They're never the same, you know, the car crash incidents, but they're all there. <laughs> they all had an impact on some character and some, whether it be in their past or right now, in the present, it happens. As soon as we heard about Owen being arrested for possession, I knew that it was his father that was an addict and not him. And I was just waiting for that to reveal itself to Auburn. And she doesn't find out like forever. And Owen just like doesn't tell her. Because it wouldn't make a difference. Of course it would. 
Of course it would make a difference. But what I didn't see coming at all was Auburn being a mom. That was a complete turnaround for me. I just wasn't looking for her. I don't know. She mentions that Trey's her brother-in-law in one scene. Instead of calling him my dead boyfriend's brother. It's not like the idea didn't run through my mind. I just didn't think the story was going there. She got pregnant when she was a teenager. I just didn't see it. And the whole thing with the custody battle, that this child was the last trace of Adam to this family, but also to Auburn. It was just really, really sad. I loved the chemistry with Owen. I loved their banter. I can't tell you how much I loved that scene where they went to the bar and he asked her to dance. She tells him no. And he goes, just give me 10 seconds. And if you still don't want to dance, we'll stop. When she was on the floor and she was counting the seconds. I loved that scene so much. Their connection felt so strong and it didn't feel fake or forced. You know, like sometimes it does in books because Kelly Plummer's so talented. <laughs> Everything feels so real and genuine. Also adorable and super romantic. And I just loved it so much. I love that night where she got drunk and she was cutting his hair and really effed it up. She like started crying mid haircut. And I felt so bad for her when I realized Lydia and AJ were supposed to meet her for her birthday for dinner. It wasn't just like a friend, Lydia, who was supposed to meet her like I thought it was at the time. It just makes it so much worse. That's like her family. She grew up with that woman and she didn't remember her birthday. Uh, I mean, not grew up, but she was with her for like four years. That's horrible. I can't believe Owen let Trey search the car. He couldn't even search the car without their permission. And then he just lets him. Owen, sweetie. The scene where Trey assaulted her in the bed was just horrifying. Auburn, she would do this thing where she would appease him and tell him what he wanted to hear, which was so frustrating, but we knew it was in her best interest. Since he's a loose cannon, you never know when he's going to hurt her. The beginning was just so sweet and wonderful. I wanted the whole book to be like that. We also didn't get complete resolution with Trey. I mean, he's still there. He still could wreak havoc on their lives. He set them up. This is the part that gets all wishy-washy because the end happens so quickly. Trey attacks them, then they're at the hotel, and then they go back to Owen, and Trey has broken in and framed him and done all this illegal stuff. But Trey just gets away scot-free. The more I think about it, the more I'm like, yes. Colleen's already making confess again, confess more, confess too, confess of retreat. AJ and Owen have to bond more. I really liked how we eventually saw how Owen tied in with Adam. I like the whole idea that Adam kind of even gave them his blessing, and that painting ended up being Owen's first piece ever. I can't put into words how much I love the concept of the art being based on a confession. I want to go to his gallery. I want to walk around that gallery and read the confessions and see the art. If your confession got turned into a painting, would you be too embarrassed to buy it? And totally have to buy it anyway. It doesn't matter how lucky are you that he picked your confession. Right? I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. You can't. <laughs> I'd love to hear your favorite parts, what you thought of the book, how you rank it amongst the Colleen Hoover books. Is it your favorite now? I'm Christine. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.